when I walked through the gates of the correctional home, which is called so here, no longer a jail, I didn't realize I was walking into my moksha, my liberation. What they have given me is beyond imagination. And when, when I'm asked that how, how did I feel and what made me do it, it, I didn't go there to reform them. I had no plans whatsoever. And when I first went in as a guest at the, on the International Women's Day, the girls were all dressed up in their finery and, you know, the ideas I had of a prison was not what I found there. You know, the girls looked beautiful because it was their special day and they had eyeliner, lipstick, mehndi. They looked beautiful. And there were trees all around. And what you see in the films is a cooped up cell. It was not what I had known a jail to be. I walked in and there was a little program. And after that, the girls asked the, the former IG, Mr. B.D. Sharma, without whose support this movement could not have come this far. He never said no to anything that I wanted to do right from day one. So he said that the girls want to learn some dance from you. Would you hold a workshop here? I immediately said yes, because I have always loved challenges in life. And I felt, and I've never really walked on the treaded path. I've always deviated, tried out new things. I have tried to do something different without hurting people. I said yes, and when I was coming out, I noticed the boys, young boys, aimlessly walking about without anything to look forward to the future. I don't know, their body language spoke volumes of how they felt. I felt I mean, it must have been my mother instinct. I just felt that maybe any one of them could have been my child. No child is born an offender.